Yes, welcome back. This is Code Forces round 900 div 3. We're gonna solve the fourth problem that is Ivan Pav. So let's see what the problem states. Ivan Pav, a famous Serbian competitive programming couple. Uh, yeah, it's very hard to understand the problem. Like competitive programming and couple, I don't know. So let's quickly see what the problem states. So they will give you n integers that is a1 to a n and they are defining a function called as f of lr. f of lr means these are two different index. You take AL and take numbers till AR and uh, they are asking uh, what is the F of LR represents the bitwise and of A of L to A of R. What is the question? They will give you Q queries. Uh, each of the query will have two numbers that is L, the lower limit and uh, our job is to find the largest R that is possible such that if we take uh, AL ampersand A, uh, L plus 1 till AR. If we take the bitwise end of all of this, it should be at least K. We need to find the farthest R that is possible. If it is not possible, we need to report as minus 1. So uh, let's understand this with the help of an example. This is the example that they gave in the question. So I just uh, wrote this in the binary format. So because of bitwise, okay. So in bitwise means what? If uh, 1 and 1 is 1, 0 and 1 is 0, and uh, 0 and 0 is 0, right? All the, all the numbers should be 1 on that particular bit, That's what, then only it will be 1. Now, uh, for simplicity, like if you want to write any binary number, you just write the 2's powers and then tell that 42. What is the closest? 64 is less, 32. You write 32 here. 32 plus 16 is 48, not possible. Then you put 8, then 40, then one more 2 is there, you put 1. So we can write it very fast like this. Now they have Q queries two queries are l equal to 1 and r equal to 7. So let's go for the first one l equal to 1 and k equal to 7 not r k. Now we need to find r such that from if we take the bitwise and of these numbers it will be at least k. Now let's take l equal to 1 this is l and let's say for the first number we can take 8421 that is possible right. Uh, so this is also a valid number that is it is 15. 15 is greater. Okay, 1 is possible. Now, let's go for the second number. If you go for the second number, what happens? 1 and 0, this becomes, the answer becomes 0. 1, 1, 1. Only this remains. So, what is the number? 8, 4, 2. 10, 14. 14 is the number if r equal to 2. Let's go for the third. Third means what? 0, 0. If we have 1, 0 on that particular column, everything will be 0, right? On that column. 0 is here, 0. This also 0, 0, 0. And here, second number is 0 here. So this also 0. At the third, everything will be 0. So at this r equal to 3, everything will be 0. If everything is 0, r equal to 4 also everything will be 0, right? Because there exists at least one 0 here. And if we take the bitwise and of it, obviously it will be 0. So we say that the largest possible value is 14. 14 is greater than 7. So r is the 2 is the maximum possible. Now, uh, I hope you are able to get it. Now let's go to the second problem. So second test case states that L equal to 2 and K equal to 15. So K equal to 15. What do I do? I take that 8 plus 4 plus 2. It's 15. Not possible, right? So now let's go to the second element. Next third element. Here it is 0, 0, 0, 0. Everything is 0. I'm just calculating. This is also not possible. First, for 2, 2 itself not possible. So this one, how much we got? Um, we got the second index. We went till the second index. This is minus 1 since it's not possible. Let's take for the fourth element. So for this case, L equal to 4, uh, then K value should be 5, right? So if this one, we find for L, L is 32, 8 and 2. So 40, 40 is greater than 5, L equal to 4 exists, but R value should be maximum. Let's go to the next R value. This is 1 and this is 0, 0, 1, 0 is 0, 0, this is 1 and this is also 0. What is the value? It is 34. 34 is greater than or equal to 5. R is the maximum possible we took. So we say that this value is 5. So in the answer, we just have to print 2, minus 1 and 5. And that's what they got it. Now let's see how to solve this problem. So like what did we understand from here is if we want a number to be qualified, if we want the column to be qualified, we just have to make sure that all the numbers in the column should be 1. So as you saw here, only if all the numbers are one only, then it's qualified. So what did we do here? We did something called as linear search, right? Okay, L equal to one, then I try for L equal to two, then I take L equal to three, then take the bitwise hand of it, everything, bitwise hand of everything. Then at max, I will go till R, every time I can go. How do we optimize further? Whenever there is zero, I'll stop it. But it might not uh, work, right? In the constraints, if you see there are like, uh, 
k value can be 10 power 9 and uh, q value is like 10 power 5 n value is 2 into 10 power 5 that won't work so optimization i say that okay whenever uh, l to r bitwise and is 0 i can say that uh, the just before value is the answer so it might happen that everything will be 1 but at last the value will be 0 so the time complexity is more so one thing that we observe is uh, this is a linear search can we apply binary search or not when can we apply binary search the array should be sorted sorted means in some way either it should be increasing or it should be decreasing something like that now here if you see uh, what happens if you take an l here and if you go down from this cell the value will keep on decreasing right because if any zero comes the value decreases even if one comes here the value won't increase so the value is constantly decreasing now if you take any l here this is the maximum value from this maximum value the value keeps decreasing so we are okay to do binary search in this format so what do we do binary search just for example i am taking this is the low value and this is the high value let's say that low value is l only we will get something like mid what do we do we take the bitwise and of all of these numbers and the answer we get right if that answer is greater than or equal to k what do we do this l value becomes the mid now mid becomes a new mid okay now since greater i can keep my pushing further away now mid came now here uh, i am taking the bitwise and of all the numbers that is from the initial l to this mid initial l to this mid i am taking all the numbers that is this is the low value and this is the l value i need to take all the numbers so now i am telling that okay answer is less than k now i go here i do the binary research and i am finding to get the optimal value for answer and whatever is the value if answer is less than k high should be mid right so i am doing binary search and i am able to get uh, some uh, optimal value for answer if answer is greater than k the closest bound will take and tell that this is the maximum r value will just uh, print it now uh, so we understood uh, like how to perform it binary search is valid now what is one more challenge is even if you do binary search we are taking this all the numbers right we are taking all the numbers here so if you take bitwise and of all the numbers again time limit gets exceeded so what do we do again this i just kept till only six or seven digits but there can be 10 power 9 10 power 9 means at least 2 power 31 numbers is the highest maximum so 31 bits will be there every time i just have to keep doing it so how do we optimize one thing i noticed is in the column if all numbers are one i can definitely say that that number uh, will be contributing to the result if this is one one if I take bitwise and of it, I can definitely say that this 4 is included. If this is 1, 0, if there is any 0 here, this number is not taken. So at last, for this case, what do you do from if this is 1 and this is 2? I say that if I'm able to say that, is every column is having 1? Okay, 8. If every column is having this, yes. If every column is having the same ones, 2. So 8 plus 4 plus 2 is the answer. So what I'm doing in constant times, like 32 times, uh, for 32 array positions for L to mid I should be able to say whether all the numbers are 1 or not if all the numbers are 1 I am just including the 2's power corresponding 2's power and checking that is the answer if it is greater than or equal to k based on that I will do the binary search now how do we know whether all numbers are 1 or not so what is something that we already know for ranges like uh, if it is like 1 2 3 4 5 what is the sum so if I want to know 3 4 5 if it is in the in this range what how will we know it so I know for 5 sum is how much we, we are calculating like 1, 1, this is 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, uh, plus 3, like that we'll take the sum, right? 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, this is 4, and this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Let's assume that we are pre-computing this. In order to get 3, 4, 5, what do I take? I take this value minus this value, minus this value. So if I take this value minus this value, I am able to get 3 plus 4 plus 5, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, 2, this, this gets cancelled, I get 3, 4, 5. So at a constant time, I'm able to get it. So can I do something like this uh, to make uh, it better? So to are we able to do this? So what is one thing here is, the number 1 should be there in uh, L to mid. Every number should be 1 on that particular column. That means if I'm doing prefix sum, I need to say that this number should not be changed. So we have to see are there any number if we keep on adding it that number will be constant that no one will be changed that is 0 right 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. So if there are 
wherever ones are there i am just marking it as zero okay just mark it as zero zero plus zero is zero only but if uh, zeros come let's say that ones are mapped to zeros ones mapped to zeros and zeros are mapped to ones to maintain co uh, constancy so zeros are mapped to ones so if this is zero and this is one zero plus one is how much one so the value changes so if i am able to tell that see if everything is zero here at last it will be zero only if all the numbers are here right so that's my question that's my thing from l to mid on that range if i am able to get zero then i am able to take this four so let's understand this so these are all some extra numbers i am just uh, remapping it so to remove this to avoid confusion so this ones right one 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 i am marking it as zero 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 and all the zeros are ones here similarly one zero one zero one zero i am marking it as zero one zero one zero one all these are ones only because i don't need those values just for third two bits now uh, what do i do i do the prefix sum i take this value so what do i take i take this value and sum it with the second number that is zero plus one is this and one plus one two something like that and you mark it to this value this one keep comes here and every one and uh, this is already one plus one is two this comes here now again you put already one here one here then again one plus one is two then one this one plus one is two so similarly you just uh, do the prefix sum now uh, we got the prefix sum now now let's try to solve the first problem what is first one and seven what is one this is the first index i want k value as seven okay so i know that the first it's already there let's try to do the linear search first i go to the next number r value is two what happens if i want to know what what were the values till one what should i do this one minus zero here see these are all starting index right these are all starting index so it these are all like we are just putting it as zeros only so what happens one minus zero is a one so if one comes we can say that there is some deviation in the array in the original array you can say that some deviation is here so it's not possible zero minus zero this is zero so what is this uh, in terms of this one it is one uh, so i can just write like one two four eight uh, sixteen thirty two that's fine now here zero minus zero it is zero only so i can take two value zero minus zero it is zero only that means everything is constant constant is zero then again we are taking eight here here it's changing so i'm not taking it because zeros so again we'll go here okay let's go for three if we go for three we say that one minus zero there is some deviation i'm not taking one here one minus zero again there is deviation one minus zero because zeros are coming here so values are getting incremented Z one again so maximum value is two only so we got two now two for 15 uh, we can just say that for two already we did it right so it's not possible so we keep minus one let's go for four four is a very interesting case let's try to understand it so you know the starting point right so what is this one this is one two four eight sixteen thirty two just follow with me so the first one is what this is two uh, for four let's leave it let's go for the four it will work so let's go for the five for easier understanding we take three here three minus you need to cancel all the bits that are incremented here so three minus one is what this is two so this is not possible it is non-zero that is some zero scheme since zeros are mapped to ones the values are changing so i can't take it this should be a zero because one one is here one one i mapped to zero zero plus zero is constant if it's constant why it's coming as one one because of the earlier prefix value right earlier one came so i need to remove this one also right so this is my threshold line i need to get the values of only this if i want to get the values of only this i take this last value minus one one minus one is what this is zero so zero is possible right because one one is same the same value is not changed it is constant so this is a valid number two is a valid number okay two means this uh, two let's go for the third element third element is how much this is uh, three three minus one is two it is changed why these are all zeros so not possible zero one zero this is also not possible right two minus one is one again that is also not possible now let's go for this number one two three four five one two three four five here i'm getting four minus two two not possible because zeros came this should be possible let's see what is written here one two three four five six one two three four five six so this number here we got three 
3 means what? 0, 0. And same number got repeated. 3, 3. So 3 is here minus the previous value. The previous value because of this guy only we got everything got changed, right? Because of this 0 only this got pushed here. So I need to cancel this number that is 3 minus 3. It is 0 again. So we can definitely say that this number is same and this number is same. Constantly only it is constant that because of 0 only it's constant and the values are because of 1 at some point before that. So here in this case 32 is here and 2 is here 34. So 34 is greater than 5. So we take this is the last index. So through binary research as I told earlier uh, within just a moment uh, like if mid value is here let's say L is here and mid value is here. I can just assume this value only and take that L minus 1. Mid mid 3 minus 1 this one this one this one so this I am going till only 31 bits will be there I am doing it constant times if I am doing it constant times I'll be able to get the value if the value is qualified I go to the corresponding 2's power and add it to the number then if the answer is greater than or equal to k I do the binary search let's understand this with the help of a code so it will be more uh, clear now what did I first do I just uh, told these uh, there are many rows here each row will have 32 bits that is 31 30 these are all 2's power okay 2's power bits set or not and uh, what does this j b and and i am trying for each thing whether the value is set or not suppose 5 is what 101 first i need to check one uh, so suppose this is zero means i am checking i am this is one if i am putting one here means i am left shifting one that is 10 if i am putting two here means i am left shifting two times that is 100 that is 2 power 2 is 4 this is force binary so it is just that 2 power i only a fancy way to do it 2 power j only it's a fancy way to do it so i'm just checking whether that number uh, suppose 101 is the number is i am checking whether the one this bit is set or not if this bit is set i'm just putting one then i'm putting one zero if this bit is set or not if this bit is set this zero only so i'm just putting uh, zero here then I'm checking if this bit is set or not. If this bit is set, I'm just putting one. So I got the 101, right? You just want to know the binary representation of it. That's all. Now, uh, we are able to get it. But we understood that since uh, what is our preference is if it is one across the column, we are converting it to zero. Why we are converting it to zero is when we are doing prefix sum, we should not change the value. So whenever we are getting uh, the value as uh, one, uh, suppose 1 equal to equal to 0 we are marking it as 1 uh, sorry if the answer is false it is 1 or else it's 0 when can this come this comes when the value bit is set when can this come when it's 0 are you able to get it so if the value is 1 here i am converting this to 0 and putting it if the value is 0 i'm converting it to 1 so that's what the condition about it is simple now what do i do i go for each of the element and trying to do the bitwise i am trying to do the prefix sum so already i performed the bitwise and here i just converted it to the i negated the binary and then zero plus one then this sum is going to third this one this one plus two one plus two plus three the bitwise and i am directly putting in the value so here you can see I'm taking the starting from the second element. I am pushing the first value plus second. Then third value will be third plus second. Like the second is already having the first. So this is the number that is there. Now let's go for the binary search. So this is simple, right? Now uh, answer I'm marking it as minus one. That means I if I don't get a value, I need to print minus one. That's why uh, L will be L minus equal to one. Why do I do that? Because it's a uh, zero based indexing. That's why we are trying to do this. And... Uh, low equal to l high equal to n minus 1 that is from l is there n minus 1 is there because we need to know the largest value that is possible starting from l low less than or equal to high if uh, if l equal to 4 uh, 3 or something means i need to go from here to n minus 1 i get the mid value mid value something will be like this now what do i do for all the 32 bits i need to check uh, mid value minus l minus 1 that means this number if this is mid value minus l minus 1 this one the sum of all uh, if 1 2 3 is here means the sum of 1 2 3 minus this one then only i get the values that are present here if the values are constant it will be anyway zero right if 2 2 2 and present it will be we'll take the last value 2 minus 2 that is zero if we get zero what means what does it mean is every number on this range will be one we mapped it to zero so we just tell that mid minus something 
i minus 1 it is 0 if it is uh, 0 means i am just putting again the same value that is plus equal to 1 uh, you just uh, like left shift two times or if it is not there you just put i i kept j here it is not j it is 2 per i okay now uh, what is the value you just increment the number if it is 0 we are getting means you just take this value this 4 like if it is everything is same if uh, we are getting zero here you are just taking two so you are just mapping the index here what is what does this mean if it is the first index i need to assume that the first number will be zero that means if this is first i need to assume that all these before values will be zero right that's why we kept this condition that is if uh, l value is zero the first number means i need to tell l minus one if mid is that or l is that means I need to say that L minus one will be the zeroth values. So if any of the bit is set, I go to the corresponding two's power and then add it to the number. So how do I add it? If uh, we are coming from the left side, right? So if you are coming from the left side or uh, right side, whatever be it, there won't be any same number that gets added twice. If four is here, we won't take two power four and two power four. It will be only one time. Then we'll check for eight. If eight is also valid, I just add uh, one. That is eight, eight plus four only. So you just can directly add it then if the answer is greater than or equal to k answer equal to mid then low becomes mid plus one because i need to increment the value if it is not there mid minus one so same thing if we are not able to find any valid answer we say that it's minus one or else answer plus one why are we putting plus one because we kept it for zero indexing in answer we need to print in one indexing format that's why answer plus one so uh, this is the solution that is written here and you can just uh, refer this here it is i okay so that is one thing that i noticed and uh, what again what did we so that's all about the video like what did we say we know that uh, first how did we try it we tried with linear search because of the time complexity i need to reduce my complexity i switched to binary search since i know that the values are constantly decreasing uh, during binary search also i'm just uh, taking each column and checking whether all are one or not then again time limit increases still i need to optimize it so I want to know if I get a mid value from mid to L minus one. Uh, so from L to mid, can I say that for a particular column, all numbers are one or not? So is there any possibility to do that? Then I'm thinking of a prefix sum that is one, two, three, four, five, one, two. How am I getting it? Now I need to know the specialty of it. So if all numbers are one, I can definitely say that uh, the value should be taken. That is the corresponding two's power. So if, uh, in that case, if we are taking it, how do we do it? We have to find a number that is constant. It should not affect any value because one is not changing it. So I am mapping the one to zero and zeros to one. Then I am taking the prefix sum of it. Only zero is re responsible to change a number. Uh, that is this zero is responsible to change a number. In these terms, if we convert it, this one will change the number. Now, if we take a of mid minus a of l minus one, if we are getting z, uh, if we are getting zero, because since both of them are constant, if we are getting zero, we understand that in the original array for that column, everything will be one. So uh, we can say that everything is one. So it is eligible. If any deviation comes, we assume that somewhere zeros came. That's why uh, zeros means the original array zero came because of this one, the values are changing. That's why uh, we are not taking that. So constant times 32 we are doing it in the binary search format so that's all about the video please let me know in the comments what do you feel about it if you like the video please share the comments thank you